Level two, fitness instruction, anatomy and physiology. The circulatory system. By the end of this session, you will be able to identify the location of the heart, describe the function of the heart, describe the structure of the heart, describe how blood moves through the four chambers of the heart, describe systemic and pulmonary circulation, describe the structure and functions of blood vessels, define blood pressure, and identify blood pressure classifications. The heart is a large muscular pump which pushes oxygen and nutrients around the body. It's found between the sternum and the rib cage, which is also known as the thoracic cavity. The heart is situated just between the left and the right lungs, but just left of center. The right side of the heart receives the blood from the body. This is deoxygenated blood. Because the blood is deoxygenated blood, it needs to be reoxygenated, so it's then pumped up towards the lungs. The left side of the heart receives blood from the lungs, which is obviously oxygenated. So that oxygenated blood now needs to be pumped to the body. We call the two upper chambers atria, or if we're referring to one of the chambers, we call it an atrium. The two upper chambers, the atria, receive blood from the lungs. The two lower chambers are called ventricles. And these are the chambers that pump blood into the arteries. Once blood has been pumped around the entire body, it returns back to the heart depleted of oxygen and depleted of nutrients. So it now needs to be pumped back to the lungs to receive more oxygen and to get rid of carbon dioxide. It first comes in via the superior and the inferior vena cava. It then collects in the right atrium. When the right atrium fills up, it pushes a valve open, sending the blood down into the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts, pushes blood out the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery then delivers the blood up towards the lungs. Once it's in the lungs, the deoxygenated blood then becomes oxygenated. It then returns back to the heart via the pulmonary vein. The left atrium, the second collection chamber, collects the oxygenated blood. It then pushes a valve open the blood drops down into the left ventricle and the left ventricle does a strong contraction sending blood out via the aorta around the entire body. The left ventricle is slightly larger than the right ventricle because it has a much bigger job to do. The aorta has to withstand high blood pressure so it's the thickest, most strongest artery in the entire body. The circulation of blood in the body can be broken up into two categories, the systemic circulation and the pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation is the circulation of blood between the heart and the lungs. The pulmonary heart chambers are the left atrium and the right ventricle. The pulmonary blood vessels are the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein. Systemic circulation is the circulation of blood between the heart and the body. The systemic heart chambers are the left ventricle and the right atrium. The systemic blood vessels are the aorta and the vena cava. Blood vessels have different structures and different functions. There are three types of blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries.
Arteries have very specific characteristics. They carry blood away from the heart. They generally carry oxygenated blood, except for the pulmonary artery. They have thick, muscular and elastic walls. They're found deep beneath the skin surface. The blood flows rapidly in them under high pressure and they do not have valves. Capillaries are the smallest of all the blood vessels. We also have the greatest number of capillaries than any other blood vessels within the body. They have extremely thin walls, as small as just one cell thick. This is to allow the diffusion of nutrients and gases into the tissues. For this reason, the blood flows very, very slowly to allow for the exchange of gases, which we call gaseous exchange. We've mentioned blood pressure, but we haven't talked about what blood pressure exactly is. By definition, blood pressure is the measure of force the blood applies to the artery walls as the blood flows through them. We measure it in millimetres of mercury, an optimal blood pressure reading is written as 120 over 80 millimetres of mercury. These two numbers represent the systolic and the diastolic pressures. The first number, 120, which is the systolic, is when the heart is contracting. The second number, 80, which is the diastolic, is when the heart is relaxing. This table represents blood pressure classifications. When somebody has their blood pressure checked, the result can be categorized as low, optimal, normal, high normal or pre-hypertension, stage one hypertension, stage two hypertension, or stage three hypertension. Can you now Identify the location of the heart, describe the function of the heart, describe the structure of the heart, describe how blood moves through the four chambers of the heart, describe systemic and pulmonary circulation, describe the structure and functions of blood vessels, define blood pressure and identify blood pressure classifications. For more health and fitness education, visit www.stormfitnessacademy.co.uk.